Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question binary tree maximum path sum. So a path in a binary tree is a sequence of nodes where each pair of adjacent nodes in the sequence has an edge connecting them. A node can only appear in the sequence at most once. So note that the path does not need to pass through the root. The path sum of a path is a sum of nodes values in the path. So given the root of binary tree returns the maximum pass of any non-empty pass. So let's say example, so you are given this um, uh, binary tree and uh, um, maximum pass sum should be like, a, like this. So in this case, uh, we get uh, six. So that's why output is six in this case. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a, a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video and you can get a code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with this example, one, two, three, four, five. And to solve this question, first of all, we have to understand what is a pass uh, exactly. So a Description said a path in binary tree is a sequence of nodes where each pair of adjacent nodes in the sequence has the um, edge connecting them. So let's say uh, this is a uh, one of paths, for example, and uh, this is a uh, another path, for example, and uh, a node can only appear in the sequence at most once. So that means this is a not path like this. So that's because uh, when we go down the right side and uh, we have two choices, go left or go right. And uh, if go down left side, we get four. After that, we have to go back to like three. So in that case, we find a three uh, twice, right? So that's why uh, this is a not pass for this question. So what we have learned from this uh, example is that um, this question allows us uh, to like a split pass uh, only one time. So, oops. In this case, uh, we already uh, split the pass uh, from root node. So go le uh, go left and go right. So that's why uh, we cannot um, split the pass from three like a left and right. So, oops. And then note that the path does not need to uh, pass through the root. So that means um, if we don't include the root node, um, in this case, um, this is a possible path like this, like a four, three, uh, five, so total 12. This is a, a possible path. And uh, we can only split pass uh, once. That is the most important point for this question. And uh, to solve this question, um, uh, we uh, we traverse uh, the binary tree uh, with like a depth fast search, and uh, every time um, we uh, calculate the max value from the current node. So okay, uh, we are given uh, like a root of binary tree. So we start from one, and then. Uh, first of all uh, go down left side and we find two and then um, try to uh, go left but uh, there is no child and they go right and there is no child so um, uh, in this pass uh, maximum pass uh, some pass should be two so let's say uh, result we have a result variable and uh, so current max pass should be two from left side of root node and then finish and then go back and then uh, go down uh, right side and then um, so depth first search we, uh, we go down uh, uh, left side and then um, go uh, try to uh, left side but there is no um, child and go right but there is no uh, child so that means um, 
uh, when we reach 4, um, maximum pass should be 4, right? And uh, um, let's uh, move back to 3. And uh, so now, um, result should be 4. And uh, go down our right side, and then we find 5. And then, so this is a depth passage, so go left, but there's no um, child, and go right, there's no child. So, um, um, this subtree, uh, so max of this subtree should be 5, right? So, result should be uh, 5. Um, and then uh, go back, and uh, from 3, I'll so we can um, split the path, uh, as I explained earlier, because uh, this is a, a like a fast split. So in this case, so this sub three is five. In this case, um, we can add this four and this five and the current value. So like this pass. In this case, uh, three plus four plus five. So that's why uh, current uh, max pa uh, value, max pass, sum pass, it should be 12. So, and then um, um, we have to go back to uh, 1. But uh, remember, so this is not pass for this question, right? As I explained earlier. So that means um, we can't pass like a 12. Um, so we have to pass like a this pass or let me change the color. Um, yeah. Or oops, this pass, right? Because, um, okay. This is a, a one of possible pass um, like a split once and then uh, a node only appear once right and then um, purple and uh, this is also <laughs> um, possible pass right so that means we have to, uh, to uh, uh, choose this pass or this blue pass or this yellow pass um, when we go back to uh, like a parent node so we take a, a max pass uh, so blue pass like a 3 plus 4 and the yellow pass 3 plus 5 so that means we should take uh, this yellow pass so pass the 8 uh, so in this case um, when we uh, go back to uh, one, so sub, so maximum value of this, oops, this subtree is eight. And then um, go back. So from a root node, uh, we can split the pass, uh, like a left, left pass and right pass, because this is a fast split so that means uh, 2 plus 1 plus 8 so total 11 and uh, look at the result variable but uh, we already find a pass with uh, like a 12 so that's why in this case we don't update uh, this result variable and then uh, we uh, visit all nodes so that's why in this case uh, we should return 12 like uh, this pass is uh, a maximum pass sum. Yeah, so this is a basic idea to solve this question. And uh, one more thing, um, I think uh, this question might be, might have like a negative number. So let's say, um, okay. Um, so this is a negative 4 and this is a negative 5. So we know that we don't need a negative number for maximum value. 
and uh, I think uh, in this case, uh, this pass is a uh, uh, ma max pass sum total six. So how can we avoid the negative number? So it's simple. Um, when total number of subtree is negative, so this is a subtree, this is a subtree, and uh, that's to convert the negative number to zero. So zero and zero. So that uh, zero uh, never affects the uh, uh, maximum value. So the maximum value of uh, this blue triangle sub three is uh, three plus zero or three plus zero. So um, it's same. They are same. So three. And then go back to uh, root node, and then. Um, we can split the pass. So that's why in this case, total uh, maximum pass sum should be two plus one plus three, and then six. Yeah, so that's how we can avoid the uh, uh, negative number. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize result variable and with root dot val and then um, call def, def first search and uh, pass the root and then after that just return result variable. Okay, so let's create a def first search now def Def first search and uh, taking a uh, like uh, let's say node and then um, so uh, to access the result variable um, in, like uh, initialize like a non local uh, result variable and then first of all if not node we just return uh, zero. If not the case, um, okay, so uh, recursively, recursively um, compute the maximum, the maximum sum of the left and the right subtree uh, pass. So left sum equal max, and then um, so if um, subtree is less than zero, uh, as I explained earlier, uh, we convert negative number to zero. So zero versus depth first search and uh, node dot left. And uh, we do the same thing for right side. So right sum equal max and uh, zero versus depth first search and uh, node dot right. And then uh, we will get the uh, um, maximum sum of the uh, left side and the right side. And then um, next, update the maximum pass sum um, encountered so far. Uh, I mean, uh, this is a with like a split um, pass. So result update the result variable and the max and the current result variable oh. or um, so left sum plus right sum plus node dot pad. yeah so this is a with a split so we can um, add like three numbers and then compare the current uh, result variable and then after that, um, so we should return so one of pass um, as I explained earlier. So that's why max and uh, left sum versus right sum and take the one pass and the plus current node dot bar. Yeah, this is a return return the maximum sum of um, the pass 
So that means this is our result split. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be an uh, order of n. So where n is a number of nodes in the binary tree. So since we visit each node exactly once, so that's why um, time complexity should be order of n. So space complexity, um, in the worst case, um, binary tree is a completely unbalanced, like a um, linked list. So in that case, maximum depth of tree is, so let's say n. And then, so in that case, space complexity is a order of n. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So if you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave your comment. I'll see you in the next question.